Hi Sagittarius, this is your love reading for December 2019. Keep in mind it is a general read, so if it doesn't resonate, please check your moon, rising or Venus signs. So what I'm seeing for this month is very much the energy or the journey that you've been on in regards to love. I see this progression away from energies that perhaps are negative, toxic, that limit you and hinder you towards a really beautiful union. And I think part of why you're being blessed with this is because you had the courage to either leave certain individuals or a individual behind in your past that was having this effect. And it comes down to the level of self-love that you had for yourself or have I should say, for yourself. I'm getting this really beautiful message from Spirit in regards to you working on yourself and honoring your own heart, your own emotions and your energy is what's enabling this really beautiful new beginning. And with love, I do feel it's almost like the love that you now hold and contain for yourself is being matched in external reality. You're being provided with and offered this type of connection. I'm hearing it's someone that honors your heart. It's someone that you feel safe with. It's an energy that is of similar vibration to you because you've put in this inner work and this evolution. Now at the center of your spread, we do have judgment and it's opposed by the ace of discs. So for some of you, like time is fluid. This could currently be happening where you're, you know, passing judgment or making a decision in regards to what you want in the future, whether you want this type of energy to come with you or whether you're going, going to start fresh. But for a lot of you, I feel like you're at this kind of juncture now where you're stepping into a new energy. There may be someone in your environment that you've either formed a connection with or are beginning to kind of notice and have emotion for. I just feel many of you may be at different points on this journey, but I see this progression away from darkness into a really beautiful and loving soulmate union and with the ace of swords we see you finding clarity in regards to what you deserve what you want a shift in your beliefs and ideology that paved the way for a new beginning but again it's very much change that's initiated from the heart space it's change that happened first in the heart in regards to self-love and self-worth and that then has triggered changes and also uh, an increase of boundaries. I see for a lot of you, if there was this tendency to allow in others or energies that didn't serve you, it's almost like your boundaries have developed to a point where you're only allowing in really high vibrational and beautiful connections. Now we have you showing up really strong at the bottom of the deck with the King of Wands, empowered, heart-centered, and making changes. Making changes from perhaps a dark past into a really beautiful energy, a lighter frequency. Could be a shift as well from a past connection that had some of this energetic influence into something that perhaps is a better match and aligns. And it's leaving behind any sense of limitation, uh, any kind of beliefs around not being able to receive what you deserve and allowing in this passion, this energy, this communication. And with the chariot, you see really fast movement, things changing. So I do feel overall for Sagittarius, December is a really beautiful month and I do think you will be seeing a lot of changes. With this six of wands as well, I do think this is noting that they're going to be really positive, whether they're changes in other aspects of your world, but also love. I just see like this upward trend, your frequency and your energy has changed to such a level that you're now able to leave behind any sense of disappointment. And I think for a lot of you, this ace of swords ties into receiving clarity in regards to why some of these connections didn't work in the first place. If you did have you know, or surround yourself with this type of energy in the past, I think it becomes clear in the month of December for some of you why they did end the way they did or perhaps didn't evolve to the level you'd hoped for. I think there is this sense of coming to awareness in regards to not only what you deserve, but why things unfold and develop the way that they have. And with this star, we see you full of hope, inspired, kind of living a beautiful life. I do feel in December, especially with the holiday season, there is a lot of love around you, both uh, for some of you romantically, but also in the sense of friendships, family. I just see this overwhelming sense of gratitude and being blessed, feeling really honored to have these changes take shape, for you to have followed your heart and follow love so that you can receive this star. Because in your environment, we have the two of cups. And I kept seeing this card when I was shuffling. So for a lot of you, either you're 
connecting with someone that triggers this emotion within you or you will be meeting someone that triggers these emotions and really leaves you feeling kind of connected there's great intimacy it's a real blessing and especially to have the ten of cups as well like what a beautiful combination if you are currently single i do feel you're moving into a time where this is the quality of relationship that you come into contact with and it has been initiated and caused by your willingness to really love and value yourself and have really strong boundaries and clarity in regards to what doesn't serve you and what you won't allow in your environment and finishing on the princess of wands First of all, I feel like this is new territory in regards to love and romance. You're entering a time where the quality of relationship is unlike anything you felt before. But I also get the sense of you will be doing this exploration or setting sail with someone because we see the two of cups, the ten of cups, and then this card. So I feel like there's kind of an interchange of passion, desire, inspiration. And it's almost like both of you decide to step out together to explore the world, to have this beautiful new beginning. Because I do feel this is a connection that's very much mutual and balanced. It's two soulmates coming together, having done the work on themselves and having reached certain levels of self-love that enable this kind of trajectory to take shape. So I'm just going to grab some cards to clarify. So we'll clarify judgment. <laughs> so judgment is clarified by judgment and the four of cups. So we see a repeating of these two energies again. And it's a sense of you calling judgment or time on anything that leaves you in this energy, in this vibration. This is no longer where you're resonating or if you still have some loose ends to tie up in regards to the past or difficult experiences. Spirit is aiding you in the month of December to kind of, you know, end this cycle, release these energies and disappointment so you can step into the future. So you can have the beginning that you really and truly deserve. And on the bottom of the deck now, we have the Ace of Wands, following your passions, for some of you following the desire that you feel for another. But this passion, I feel like, extends to every area of your life. I do think the month of December, you will feel an overflowing of not only love, but desire, passion, inspiration. It's almost like you're being sparked. And I do think for a lot of you, the spark is happening through either the meeting or the connection you have with a particular soulmate. Or it will be through, and it could even be the energy of a soulmate nearby. But I do get this sense that there's someone in your environment that's triggering this change. Clarify the Ace of Dis. Okay. So we have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So again, following your passion, running, I, I want to use the word running in the direction of your desires, what you feel, and really quick movement. So for some of you, you might feel really swift changes as it pertains to love during this time frame. Because I think as you're, for some of you, I feel like you've already released the past and released this energy, which is why this connection could line up. For others of you, I still feel like you're passing almost like the final judgment and completely severing ties with that energy so that this connection can come into being. And what we have on the bottom now is the hermit, spiritual growth, transformation, looking within to understand what you truly want and also understanding the spiritual purpose and lesson behind any heartbreak or disappointments in the past. And the Six of Cups, so you can be connected with, you know, a beautiful soulmate, someone that you've had many lifetimes with. But I also feel as well with this energy, for some of you, this is indicating that you know this person or they're, they're close by. Okay, we'll clarify the Ace of Swords. Okay, so the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Cups. And that's, it's very much finding clarity and realizing what you desire, cutting out anything that doesn't serve you. So this new love can come in for some of you, as I said, I feel like this connection perhaps has already come into play or at the very least is close by it's in your kind of environment or energetic field. And what we have is temperance at the bottom now, which is you kind of healing, clearing out old energies, not allowing that to come into the future. And that's what brings in this emperor or divine counterpart. Now, for some of you, you could be connected with someone with Aries in their chart or Aries prominent. 
For others, I feel like air, perhaps, especially with the star Aquarius energy. But you can see you're moving into connections that are not only really beautiful and loving, but more stable. And they're a match for who you are. Clarify the devil. Okay, beautiful. So with the Six of Wands here, I see victory in regards to releasing this energy. I see a lot of you are moving into a time where you're feeling good, things are kind of working in your favor, or love and your life path is in, unfolding in a manner that you've hoped for, and that's what enables you to really cut ties with the past and negative energies. And with the hangman as well, it goes from perhaps there being pauses in terms of manifesting new love or the direction that you're on, uh, leaving something behind. <laughs> we have the six of swords and the devil. So for you to become independent or just invest in yourself. And I feel like that's what really releases you from toxic energies. It's almost like Sagittarius chose themselves. If you are in an energy or dynamic or are currently leaving that energy, there's a sense that you valued yourself enough that you weren't willing to stay in anything that didn't serve you or didn't offer you what you deserve. Okay, six of wands. We have the moon. So for some of you, there may still be, we have the six of wands twice, but there may still be some shadowy or dark energies that almost are, I'm hearing are, what would be the word? Like making you not recognize your own success or where you're at. Like every now and then, it's like the energy of when you start feeling really confident, beautiful, strong, powerful, some of these memories or some of these fears and doubts cloud your vision a little. So you can't quite encompass yourself as who you truly are so that's why i was feeling for some of you there may still be the need for a little more kind of healing or releasing and with the eight of swords it's something that sets you free it creates movement with the king of wands you follow your passion your heart and you close out a cycle and that leads to this beautiful new love offer for those of you who have already met this person it allows for things to unfold we'll clarify the four of cups So it's a movement away from connections or emotions that were disappointing and didn't serve you into what investing in areas that will. I think for some of you, you're moving away from connections that perhaps were more transitory and karmic in nature towards something where you can both build together and you can stabilize your energies and frequencies so that you receive what you deserve. But there's just this shift. For some of you as well, you may have chosen to really invest in yourself and what you want. And that focus away from love, because we see this here with the seven of coins, that focus away from love brings in love. There's this sense that you've been working or investing somewhere else, um, shedding or currently are shedding negative energies, and that aligns you with new love. Okay. And with the star, we have the ace of, ace of swords twice, and I'm feeling... With this combination, yes, it's receiving uh, clarity in regards to what you truly want and your mind is clear in the sense of the type of partnership you desire, what's manifesting, and for some of you, who you want to be with because I feel like you've already met this person. But there is also this sense of a shifting happening in terms of what you allow to influence you. Again, I'm seeing this sword as almost like a, a sword of truth or a sword of cutting things away that either prevented you from accessing this inspiration and this higher energy or just kind of kept you captive and you can see as well with the tower there's shifts happening and things being left behind radical changes that create a sense of justice for you and this justice is delivered because you were willing to leave behind what was stable what was secure what you've known for what could be and with the Ten of Coins, that's what could be, especially with the Ten of Cups here. There's a lot of abundance all around for you. Okay, so to clarify the Two of Cups, we have the Emperor. So for some of you, again, it could be someone with Aries, but it's someone that shows up in this form. They're complete within themselves. I feel like they may be very abundant or successful in their own right and abundant emotionally, spiritually, and materially across the board. 
But I do feel for a lot of you, it's like you're, you've are you either met your divine counterpart and you know it and that's what's triggering this passion or they're going to be coming into your world. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Okay, so the Ten of Cups is clarified by the sun and this is what you have coming towards you. This is a sense that all your hopes and dreams as it pertains to relationship, I feel you've either come into contact with someone that has this potential within them and with you, or you will be meeting someone that has that. And you can see again, the moon movement away from darker or shadowy energies into the sun, into the light of day. And on the bottom, we have the page of wands. So I see this moving really quickly in terms of passion and the star. So this sense of divine inspiration, things moving in the way that you've really wanted. Clarify the Princess of Wands. Okay, so many cards. So we have the King and Queen of Swords, divine counterparts. So for some of you, it very much could be an air sign and the fountain. And the fountain for me is a card of tapping into source energy and creating and manifesting something that really resonates with you. It's kind of, and for a lot of you, I feel like there's this energy that you were, you were willing to leave the past behind or are currently doing so out of love for self. You invest in yourself, you invest in your inner world, and you really work on manifesting what you deserve and desire. And that's what enables this really beautiful union and partnership to come into play. So that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.